In this video, we're going to look at a number of utility functions, derive marginal utility from those functions, and then calculate the marginal rate of substitution. Let's start with a utility function for a consumer given by x squared times y cubed. Let's get the marginal utility for good x, which is just going to be the change in utility from consuming one more unit of good x. It's given by the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good x. So taking the partial derivative of the above the equation, we can get 2x, bring down that 2 in front, 2 minus 1 just leaves us x here, all multiplied by y raised to the third power. The marginal utility of good y, I'll go over here, is going to be the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. Here we get 3x squared times y squared. Now from this, let's calculate the marginal rate of substitution. Just the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. We can simplify this slightly. Okay. And, oops, and a three. So that's our marginal rate of substitution. Uh, why do we even care about the marginal rate of substitution? Well, it is the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve. Okay, the marginal rate of substitution is the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve. And when a consumer is maximizing utility, the slope of the indifference curve will equal the slope of the budget constraint. So that's one reason why we care about the marginal rate of substitution. Uh, the definition of the marginal rate of substitution, besides being the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve, it tells us how many units of good y the consumer is willing to give up for one more unit of good x holding utility constant. Let's do another example. Here utility equals x raised to the one-third power and y raised to the two-thirds power. Good x and good y, okay, x just represents units of good x, y represents units of good y, if I didn't state that earlier. Margin utility of good x in this case. Looks like this. Bring down the one-third in front, one-third minus one leaves us minus two-thirds. Okay. And the marginal utility of good y. Bring down the two-thirds in front, two-thirds minus one leaves us y raised to the minus one-third power. The marginal rate of substitution, marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. Using rules of exponents here, bringing, bringing down this x to the minus two-thirds power into the denominator, and then moving this y to the minus one-third in the denominator into the numerator, I'm going to be left with this result. y over 2x. Okay, This one-third divided by two-thirds just leaves us with one-half, so that's where the two's coming from. All right, let's do another example. Here's a kind of interesting utility function. Utility equals minus x raised to the minus 1 power minus y raised to the power of minus 1. Marginal utility of good x in this example.
something like this, bring down the minus 1 in front, that's just going to get minus minus, so just 1, and then minus 1 minus 1 leaves us with minus 2. And doing a similar thing for good y, bringing down the minus 1 in front of the minus y leaves us just with plus y, and then we're going to go minus 1 minus 1, y will then be raised to the minus 2 power. Marginal rate of substitution. We get y squared divided by x squared, just using the rules of exponents here. All right, let's do another example. Let's use a utility function with natural logs. The marginal utility of good x here. is going to be 2 divided by x. The marginal utility of good y just going to simply equal 1 over y. The marginal rate of substitution Marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. We'll simplify down to this expression. Okay, just simplifying it by taking the denominator and multiplying the no uh, denominator and numerator by the reciprocal of 1 over y or just y. And let's do one other example. Here's a perfect substitute per uh, utility function. Marginal utility of good x is the derivative of 0.5x plus 2y, which is 0.5. The marginal utility of good y, just going to equal 2. So the marginal rate of substitution is 0.5 divided by 2, and this is just 1 fourth. All right, so that's a look at utility, marginal utility, and the marginal rate of substitution.